Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and I'm back at Horror Hands Beach just enjoying the day by the seaside and while I'm here I thought I'd do another video so while we're at the beach I thought it would be a good idea to do a shark movie special so I will go through all of the shark movies that I have in my collection from the good to the bad to the Sharknado we'll go through all of them so I've got quite a few so I'll go straight into it. So the first movie is 12 Days of Terror, which is based on a true story of these sharks. And I, I think it, it got into a like a freshwater lake in the early 1900s and attacked a few people. So it's the story of, of, of this shark attacking this little community. Um, it's a pretty good film. Uh, I think it might be like a TV movie. It's got a pretty cool looking shark. Uh, this one's just a bit weird because it's set in the early 1900s and I'm not used to everyone looking so kind of old-fashioned when it comes to shark movies. Usually they're quite modern, hip kind of uh, seaside films, but this one has a bit of a different feel to it. But um, it's definitely a film that I enjoyed. Um, very kind of peculiar story of this shark um, coming in this uh, freshwater area. And yeah, not a bad film at all. Right, next up we have two-headed shark attack which is just uh, one of these really silly over-the-top cgi movies you'll see quite a few of these in this video this one was pretty fun i enjoyed it for what it was you kind of know what you're getting into when you when you watch these kind of films but yeah uh, this two-headed shark here causing trouble and uh, creating lots of cgi damage it's not too bad uh, for, for these kind of films right next up we have uh 47 meters down uh, these two women they go cage diving with sharks but the cage breaks and they get submerged 47 meters down underwater and trapped by these killer sharks uh, i wasn't too keen on this to be honest I, I i didn't think this one was all that great it just wasn't all wasn't all that thrilling it's got a couple of decent moments at the end but yeah i've seen better uh, i must be honest with that one uh, but then you have um, 40, 47 meters down uncaged. Now this one I really enjoyed. I thought this one was really, really cool. Uh, these girls go sort of uh, cave diving, sort of exploring underwater caves, uh, which I have no idea why anyone would want to do, but they go down into these uh, sort of subterranean caves and are attacked by this shark that's kind of adapted down in the darkness and he's got like white eyes and looks really cool but yeah this one i really enjoyed had a lot of fun watching uh, the 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 second 47 meters down i uh, would definitely recommend checking this one out okay next up is bait another very fun one i had a good time watching this one uh, this is where they have these um like these storms and these giant tidal waves and it floods out a supermarket and brings sharks into the supermarket so there's like sharks swimming down these submerged aisles and the, the people inside have to try and get out it's a really cool film uh, i very much recommend this one pretty well done pretty decent characters and this one just kind of sets itself a bit higher than the usual kind of cgi uh the, the kind of cgi crapness that you get with a lot of these kind of films this one this one was much better so yeah good film mate Next up is Creature with this kind of half shark, kind of half man kind of monster. I think this is a TV movie. Pretty good stuff. It's about three hours long, so it's a, it's a long one. Uh, but the creature in it looks pretty cool and uh, it's uh, never really all that dull. It's got some, some pretty good stuff in it. So, yeah, I, uh, I pretty, pretty much enjoyed Creature. I thought that was a good one. <laughs> right, next up we have Cruel Jaws. The quintessential bad shark movie. This is hugely enjoyable for mainly all the wrong reasons. Uh, very silly film, very cheesy. It steals footage from other shark films, from Jaws 1, Jaws 2, uh, The Last Shark, things like that. And it mixes it up into this, this ridiculous storyline. Uh, unintentionally hilarious, um, but so much fun to watch. Uh, this is like the greatest hits of bad shark movies. So if you're into these kind of films, I highly recommend Cruel Jaws. It's a, it's a very funny film, um, but like I say, mainly for the wrong reasons. 
Then we have Deep Blood, which is similar to Cruel Jaws, actually, similar kind of Italian uh, shark exploitation movie. <coughs> um, this one, though, wasn't, wasn't as good as Cruel Jaws. This one was really kind of, uh, kind of dull, kind of boring. There was, there was very little shark action in this one, uh, which was a shame because it could have been another kind of really fun film like Cruel Jaws, but I just, I wasn't into this one as much. Uh, still worth seeing if you're into these kind of crappy shark exploitation films, but uh, not, not the best one to showcase here. Okay, then we have Deep Blue Sea. Another fun one. I uh, vividly remember this one coming out in the late 90s and still a really fun film to watch. But a very, very good film, very entertaining. Uh, still need to see the sequels. I've heard that the second one is terrible, but the third one is actually quite good. But for now, I just have the first Deep Blue Sea. And uh, yeah, one of the uh, one of the best of the kind of the take your brain out, killer shark movies out there. I do like this one. Next we have Devilfish, Lamberto Barber's Devilfish. Half shark, half octopus kind of monster in this one. Very cheesy film, not too bad, it's fun to watch. I'd like to see more Devilfish. There's quite a few sort of uh, arbitrary subplots thrown into this one, which I didn't care for, but I enjoy it for what it is, which is another one of these like cheesy killer shark films. So yeah, not too bad. Then we have Dino Shark, another one of these silly CGI type movies. Again, I thought this one was pretty cool. I do like the look of the, the Dino Shark. I think that's pretty awesome. So yeah, not too bad for some mindless entertainment there. Then we have Hammerhead, uh, where I think it's Jeffrey Combs. He invites these scientists onto his island to have a look at his experiments, but he's got ulterior motives. I think they've all done him wrong in the past and he he aims to get them killed off by this hammerhead creature, but uh, I wasn't I wasn't a fan of this one. I couldn't really get into it. Pretty silly, pretty dull in places. Uh, not one that I would recommend all that much, to be honest. Okay, then we've got the uh, the Jaws movies, Jaws one to four. I won't say too much about these ones. I'm always talking about Jaws. I did actually talk about all four movies when I was uh, when I was at the beach. So. Uh, I don't need to go into them, and you know that Jaws is my favourite film, but I uh, couldn't leave them off the list. Then we have Jersey Shore Shark Attack. Uh, very silly, you're sort of in this Jersey Shore-like community with all these good-looking guys and girls partying, and then uh, there's a shark, uh, a shark around killing them all off. Uh, I think I've said before, but it's, it's more Jersey Shore than Shark Attack, unfortunately, so you do have to put up with these annoying ear-headed characters. Uh, but it's got a few fun moments. It wasn't terrible. Uh, it got bits in it that made me smile and things like that. So, yeah. Right, then we have The Last Shark. One of my favourite of the, the, the low-budget Jaws rip-offs. Enzo G. Castorelli's Last Shark. Uh, this, um, yeah, it's just a total Jaws rip-off. Um, but it's, it's, it's really fun. It's got a, a, the shark in it looks so fake, but again, so entertaining at the same time. So yeah, this is, um, this really is just a carbon copy jaw ripoff, but uh, I, I do get a lot of enjoyment from this film. It's another one that I'd really recommend if you're into these bad kind of shark exploitation Jaws ripoff movies. Uh, yeah, this one is a lot of fun. Okay, next up we have Mako. This is from the William Greffe box set from Arrow, and um, that box set was not great. The movies in it were pretty terrible, to be honest. This one's probably the best one from the box set, and it ain't that great. <laughs> uh, this stars Richard Jekyll, and he can communicate with sharks. He has like a telepathic link, and um, yeah, they're, they're being kept in captivity and being mistreated or something, but it's, yeah, it's it's not great to be fair. It's, it's not not all that, all that up to much, unfortunately. <laughs> then we have The Meg, uh, one of my favourite guilty pleasures. I absolutely love The Meg. Uh, I could watch this over and over again. Jason Statham battling a giant megalodon shark. It's very cheesy, it's very silly, but as are most of these films, uh, you don't really watch these kind of films for their their in-depth, uh, intelligent storylines. But yeah, The Meg, one of my favourites on the list. Uh, really, really enjoy that movie. 
Next up is Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus, uh, one of the quintessential bad CGI movies. Uh, a lot of fun, unbelievably silly, but uh, <coughs> excuse me, but yeah, the one where the giant shark jumps out of the sky and eats the aeroplane. Um, yeah. So. Then we have Mega Shark versus Mecha Shark. So similar kind of thing, but it's a, a giant shark fighting a giant robotic shark, uh, you know, which uh, sounds really cool, pretty, pretty cool concept. Again, it's not bad, it's just this silly over-the-top CGI. I've watched so many of these now, I just kind of just take them in my stride, and if, if you can too, I, th I think you'll enjoy them. But, uh, God, they're so silly at the same time. Next up we have Nightmare Shark, uh, which I haven't actually watched this one yet. I, I, I got it recently and I think it's like sharks invading people's nightmares or something like that. I have no idea how that's going to convert to the screen. I'm interested to see, but uh, yeah, interesting concept. Will probably be terrible, but hopefully not. Okay, then we have Open Water. So this one, Open Water's good. It's probably the most serious and downbeat film on the list. This is a very kind of, uh, very serious, almost kind of nihilistic film, this one. It's, it's not just kind of the pure summertime entertainment that a lot of these other films are. This one tells a kind of sort of serious and uh, uh, sort of um, kind of claustrophobic tale of this couple that gets stranded out at sea and, 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 are, and are stuck out there while sharks stalk them and attack them and uh, i won't go into you know what happens or reveal things but yeah it's a uh, yeah pretty pretty serious one this one not not much sort of fun to be had I, I, it's a good film i like it but it's pretty hard going then we have red water which is a really good one not not one that you hear all that much about but uh, one that i was pleasantly surprised with and thought it was a pretty cool film so Lou Diamond Phillips is battling this shark. I think this is another one that gets uh, ends up in like a, a freshwater river or something while they're doing some kind of work, some construction or something on there. And and yeah, he has to like battle off this this killer shark. A really cool film. Not one that you see all that much uh, around or or talked about either. But it's uh, yeah, one that I I thought was a pretty good watch. Right, next up is The Reef, uh, which is another really good film. This one is much more of kind of like a slow burn. Uh, probably one of the more realistic kind of shark encounter films out there. Um, these four people get stranded in the sea and they're trying to make the way back, but they are like kind of stalked by a great white shark. Uh, subtly at first, but then it becomes a bit more intense. Um, but it's a bit of a slow burn. It's not kind of in your face sharks jumping around anywhere uh, it's it's very kind of uh, slow paced and and builds and builds on the tension but a uh, very good film i like it for its realism uh, rather than the over the top sort of sharks attacking planes and people and silly things like that so yeah definitely one i would recommend if you want a bit more of a serious realistic film next up is the shallows uh, i'm sure most people have seen this one this is a, a very popular one uh, where the girl goes out surfing, she gets stranded on a rock and she's stalked and kind of has this cat and mouse game with this giant great white shark. Really good film, I enjoyed this one. Like I say, I know this is a, a rather popular one. So yeah, highly recommend The Shallows. Next, all oh, right, next up uh, we have Shark Exorcist, which is one of the most ridiculous films I've ever seen. Uh, it's from Wild Eye. Uh, very, very silly, even for them. I, I just, uh, yeah, just, just insane. Nothing like this, by the way, happens on the cover. You know what it's like with these kind of movies. Uh, this is, this isn't any kind of representation of what goes on. It's, it's all very, very amateurish. Um, terrible CGI, bad acting, um, just, just bad, but bad in like an un underwhelming kind of way. Unfortunately, I don't recommend Shark Exorcist. Right, next up is Shark Hunter, which I actually don't remember. I have seen it. 
I don't know how long it's been, but I, I really do not remember this one at all. So uh, I think it was okay. I don't remember it being terrible, but then again, it probably wasn't good enough for me to remember it all that well. So yeah, Shark Hunter. Then we have Shark Night. Not bad. I think I went to the pictures to see this one back in the day. Uh, it was cool. It was, it was a novelty just to see like a killer shark film at the pictures, to be honest. And it wasn't great, but you know, it was cool that they did that. So yeah, I didn't think it was too bad. There's a bit of a twist in the story towards the end, which was silly, but yeah, this was all right. Next up is Shark Week, which pits these people on this island where they have to do these like saw-like challenges uh, involving killer sharks. So they start getting killed off as part of this game where these killer sharks are after them. Sounds cool, but it's another one of these really bad CGI, bad acted kind of movies. Um, but it's, it's, it's all right, it's entertaining enough. Then we have Shark Zone. Another one that I've watched, like Shark Hunter, but I just don't remember it. It's kind of just fizzled off into the ether, unfortunately. Again, I think it was okay. I don't remember it being terrible. Don't remember not enjoying it. Just, uh, yeah, it's just kind of, sort of melded off into uh, all the other shark films. Right, next up we have Shark and Saw Women's Prison Massacre, which is actually not that bad. I did find this one pretty entertaining. These female convicts, they go out into like this uh, uh, sort of swamp land and they get attacked by these kind of uh, sharks, shark creatures that come after them. It's, it's all right, it's very silly, but I, I found it entertaining enough. Uh, it made me laugh in a few places. It's just it's a really mindless entertainment here, but not too bad. Then we have the, uh, the classic, the cornerstone of shark exploitation, Sharknado. The greatest movie ever made so yeah a must see if you like your killer shark films and uh yeah very very in in very very uh... <laughs> i don't even know i've got the words for sharknado i was trying to be sarcastic and say how good it is but it's just it's sharknado you know what it's like and then we have sharknado 2 Thank you to Mark of Horror for sending this to me. I haven't watched this one yet, but I'll, I'll have to check this out and just and see how much of a classic this one is as well. Then we have Sharktopus, another one of these CGI movies, half shark, half octopus. Again, not bad and entertaining if you like these kind of uh, these kind of movies. I think Eric Roberts is in this one. Yeah, Eric Roberts is in it, and there's a really good cameo from Roger Corman in this as well, which is worth watching just for that. Then we have Spring Break Shark Attack. Another one I don't remember all that much, but I think it was okay. I think this one was similar to Jersey Shore Shark Attack, same kind of thing. Um, but I did enjoy this one a bit more, if I, if I recall correctly. Uh, it's not too bad, it's, it's pretty entertaining for what it is. And then last but not least, we have Tintorera, which I've talked about a bit on this channel before. Not a good film, but uh, I, I kind of like it. It has a sentimental value for me because it's one that my dad used to talk about years and years ago. And it took me about 25 years to get a copy. So uh, when I finally watched it, it was it was a pretty cool experience for me, even though the film itself is, is not great. It's a bizarre mix of sort of daytime soap opera and uh, exploitation killer shark type movie. But um, it's not bad. There's entertainment to be had from it. So that's, I think, all the shark movies that I have in the collection, guys. Uh, please let me know what you think of that. Which movies did you like? Which didn't you like? And if you've got any other recommendations of great killer shark movies, definitely let me know. I'll check them out. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.